Hello everybody, I'm Daniel Tamarit at the Program of Molecular Evolution at Uppsala University and I'm going to talk about the evolution of genome architecture in bacterial chromosomes. So you can imagine a bacterial chromosome as a circular entity where genes sit and there's a lot that we know about genes and how genes work, what kind of functions genes may have, but there's not so much that we know about the processes that affect the actual positioning of the genes in the chromosome. So this is what I've been studying for these last years. And although at a first glimpse a chromosome might seem like a disordered mess, it is really valuable to get to disentangle the order from the apparent chaos in the chromosomes. So there are some very recognizable patterns still. Like for example, for a while researchers have known that bacteria that grow really fast, like E. coli, they tend to have several replication forks running at the same time. And this generates extra copies of the DNA at the origin of replication, here at the top of the circles, as compared to the DNA at the, at the terminus of the replication here at the bottom of the circles. So this generates an advantage for genes whose products are required in high amounts to accumulate close to the origin of replication uh, because having extra copies of the gene will help in generating extra copies of the product. And normally these genes are genes involved in informational processes like replication itself or the formation of the ribosomes. Um, however, we were very surprised when we studied the genomes of some bacteria that live inside honeybees because what we found was the complete opposite pattern. So the informational genes in this case were sitting close to the terminus of replication and there were other genes, specifically metabolic genes, that accumulated close to the origin of replication. So this was very surprising and we wanted to know more about what, why this was so. So what we did was to study what the situation was in relatives of this bacteria. And what we could find was that the genes that accumulated close to the terminus more commonly were genes involved in informational processes. However, the identity of the genes close to the origin of replication varied depending on the lineage of study. And this seemed to reflect adaptive processes occurring in these lineages, possibly causing the acquisition of new genes. Moreover, we also found lineages that didn't contain these patterns, and we could find that it was caused by the accumulation of mobile elements or genome rearrangements. So this was very surprising to us, especially because nobody had seen these patterns before, despite the fact that many of these genomes were pu of public domain. So this really comes to show that there might be hidden layers of order in the apparent chaos of the chromosomes. And it is a very interesting topic of study because every chromosome might be a battlefield between agents of chaos and forces of order, and it is the combination of these two that cause the patterns that we see today. So this is very valuable if we want to get to understand how chromosomes work and how chromosomes evolve, and perhaps even to be able to design and build our own chromosomes one day. Thank you very much.